These days, it's nearly impossible to find someone who doesn't have a cell phone or a smartphone. It's not all about talking, though. These modern communications marvels do a lot more. Yes, you can have a conversation with someone, but you can also play games, surf the Internet, text to one another, and on and on. If you can think about something you'd like to do on the smartphone, there's probably an app for that to accomplish the task. That's just as true on the farm as it is anywhere else, allowing farmers to do more, more efficiently. That's right. Um, you know, with the developments of, of, of newer technology, it has allowed me, allowed me and, and my brother and my dad, who I farm with, uh, the ability to, to work elsewhere and come, come back to the farm here and, and spend time here. And the technology just almost creates time for us because in the past, before the technology, there's, there would have been no way we could, have do, we could do both jobs, a, a full-time job and farm. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's probably more apps that uh, I could utilize that I haven't even been able to define yet. I mean, and I think people are really catching on with these apps and, and as more, more growers that I deal with, you know, have iPads and, and smartphones and that sort of thing, they're really starting to take hold of these apps and utilize them more in their day-to-day -day operations. A farmer can get information on most anything with a smartphone while standing in the field. I think probably, you know, an app like my radar, another radar app, weather app, is probably one of the first things that maybe people start with when they start using an app. Getting a lot of uh, summer thunderstorms and that sort of thing. Obtaining up-to-the-minute weather forecasts can be extremely critical to a farmer's livelihood, but today's smartphone apps can offer so much more help in today's modern farming operations. I uh, like Ag, Ag PhD has a lot of good apps. They have a fertilizer removal app that I like to use that you can actually put your yield. Uh, it's got a variety of crops right on down to tobacco. You can take your actual yield, put it in there, and it'll tell you how much fertilizer you remove from the grain kind of gives you an idea maybe where to start if you're uh, shooting for 150 bushel corn yield. Maybe what if you want to maintain your fertilizer uh, fertilization levels. Gives you an idea of maybe a base point to start. Another app is uh, that I've, I've been using the uh, last couple weeks is John Deere Power Assist. It's a John Deere app and uh, if you got newer John Deere machinery you can scan the barcode and it will give some critical information about that piece of equipment and then you can uh, link it to uh, like the John Deere parts catalog so if you need to order parts you just hit a button and it pulls up the parts catalog and it it really saves time like when you're down in the field and you need to order a part. I actually use a app called uh, iSketch say I've got a side-by-side uh, -side comparison or something I could take a picture of that and I can take and put it right in the iSketch, uh, write a note on there with, say, a uh, competitor hybrid on, on the left and, and put our uh, corn hybrid on the right. You can email right out of iSketch to you know someone else in the company or that sort of thing to show the comparison between the two hybrids. Uh, you can actually take the iSketch and draw. Um, if I'm doing a plot, you can sit there and draw that uh, farm right or field right out, you know, lay your plot off in there. A lot of different things that you can do, uh, you know, with that editing capability that iSketch gives you. Who knows what the future holds for technology in the modern working farm, but as farming technology advances, there should be plenty of new apps for smartphones and tablets to assist today's tech-savvy farmer. Uh, most farmers that that's want to be productive they already had a good. They, they already have a good idea about what technology can do for them. So I um, mean, that's that's what I would encourage anyone to do is take the time to try to find find the apps that best suit them, and and it because it's probably out there. Over the past ten years of what the advancements have been in agriculture, I mean, I feel like uh, you know this app world, it's just going to keep going and going. 